Got an update video here on the new metal head H mini frame um, that Dave has so kindly accepted into his heart. <laughs> um, this is the new frame with the current cutoffs that's going to be in production. Um, I made a lot of improvements on the frame itself to make it uh, more rigid. Actually, it's 100% rigid, really. Um, but you can see all the, the cutouts in here. These are all cutouts for like Velcro and just to make it lighter. Um, KK2 mounting, all four corner there, 40, or 45 millimeter boards, whatever. 36 millimeter boards here, all those holes there. And um, Velcro, obviously that comes with it. Um, the idea behind the new top plate design and bottom here is we spread apart these standoffs here because um, we wanted to make it the most practical setup that you can get on a Mini H uh, or any Mini frame in general. Um, and I'm going to tell you, these arms are very, very rigid. I mean, you can't flex these arms at all, I'll tell you right now. This is one eighth, thick, uh, one eighth inch thick 6061 aluminum. Um, you got two inches spacing here, and that'll allow you five inch props. You, you bump them into these holes here that allow you six inch props. But this will allow you inch and a half width without moving the standoffs out and two inches with it. Um, with them out like they are now. And then, of course, the opening here, to, just to make it easier for mounting a battery. I don't have the bottom screws in uh, all the way tight right now. But as you can see in the bottom here, these are quarter-inch standoffs. You got four, front and the back. And then I mill out the bottom plate here. So you got, in reality, you got about three-eighths, three-sixteenths, somewhere around that. Um, I'm sorry, um, three-eighths. Or is it like 0.3 something? I mean, it's it's close, but it's like 0.3 something space, more than a quarter inch. So most of the Afros, the Blue Series, Plush, they'll all fit inside there um, the way it sits. And like I said, all these holes here, mostly are for cutouts, for mounting, um, Velcro strap to hold stuff down. And you can also mount stuff underneath on the bottom or on the top using those holes too. Um, this is the front, same thing with the front. You got two inch spacing here in the middle, so you can pretty much mount anything in there, your Mobius, your uh, cams, whatever, um, top and bottom. Um, bottom is the same, nothing really changed at all. Um, still small, it's eight inch, eight inch motor squared like this. And it's 11 inches roughly going diagonal. So it's like 280 something millimeters, something like that. Um, Dave is flying it now. You'll see his videos. It's it's solid. The frame is very solid. Um, it's strong. Um, you're not going to have to worry about, you know, spending too much money when you're going to replace parts because everything's going to be cheap in parts, um, consuming matter. So, um, but that's it there. It, this frame will assemble literally in like two minutes. You're, you're only putting in the bottom stand-up plate and the tops. I mean, it literally takes two minutes to put those uh, standoffs and screws in there. And, of course, they come with the purple screws for now. That may change later, but I'm going to use up my stock and do purple for a while. And then your uh, your Velcro. You can use the Velcro or not, but there's also a couple more slots in here for your battery on your Velcro mounting. Same thing with the front here. And then also, um, there'll be a couple changes not for everybody, but for some people that it take advantage of um, for mounting your uh, your FPV uh, receiver, your, your TX. You'll have access to your channels. So when you get a mount underneath, you can access your channels. And uh, antenna mounting. Huh. So um, that's my son making all that noise. But that's it. It looks pretty good. It's, uh, it's clean. I wanted to get a better uh, video with light because somebody was asking me, you know, it was kind of dark at night when I did it, um, but as you can see, it's it looks big, and, and Dave Dave flies with it. He says it flies big, you know. It just means it, it flies with authority, you know, but it, it's not big. It's still small, you know what I mean? Still uh, eight inches. It's not, a, it's not a large, large frame. And you could, run, you could run the Cobras on here. You could run the Sunny Skies. I think the Cobras actually will be a little bit different. You might have to flip it and DIY yourself something, but... The uh, sunny skies will work flipping it over. All the, uh, the Supos, um, 
um, ZMRs, all those 1804 series, they'll all fit inside here. Um, and then that's pretty much it. It's very, very practical. You got tons of room in here. It's solid. There's no flexing. Um, you could mount your camera or your flight control with uh, the Kyosho uh, Zeal tape. It's like a gel tape. Dave uses it. He swears by it. That's all he uses now. Or you can use rubber standoffs if you want. But um, you do not need a clean, clean and dirty plate, guys. You really don't. Use that tape for your cam, and you're not going to worry about it. Uh, by adding the clean and dirty system like I have on my other larger setups, it just adds more weight, unnecessary weight. And with a lot of the frames that are out, I noticed that they use G10 or some carbon fiber arms, but they're not thick. They flex. They're, they're not that rigid. And there's a reason why we didn't do folding on this. We wanted to make it modular. The design just very modular and easy to assemble. So you don't have to worry about your arms, you know, having separate screws and adding more weight, stuff like that. But, I mean, this, this frame is going to take a beating. And you're going to see some videos later that will show the, uh, the strength of the frame. So... But that's it. That's the new Metalhead production Metal H, Mini H uh, FPV frame made by uh, Iconic X. Thanks, guys.